So, uh, hey everyone, um, you're very welcome to our, the, our opening night, uh, the launch of our online conference uh, to mark the centenary of the warning of the Custom House, which took part or place on the 25th of May, uh, 1921. And we're going to start tonight's event um, with a message from the Minister for Housing, Local Government and Heritage, Dara O'Brien. A div galer agus falcha quig chuck and custom e malia clear. Es more an anor agus ahastum vehen a new con an okod special to show a okod starul a bonaha. May the twenty fifth marks the centenary of the burning of the custom house, one of the really most significant events to take place during the War of Independence. After its destruction, the Free State government, despite very difficult economic circumstances took the really important step to rebuild this architectural masterpiece. Now, I'm very proud that my department's offices are headquartered here in the Custom House. As its custodians, we remember the attack in which nine people were killed, uh, while also celebrating this remarkable building, a hundred years on from the burning of the Custom House. We would love to be able to open the building up again and welcome you and everyone here, but understandably due to current restrictions, we're limited in what we can do for the moment. My officials and stakeholders have put together a program of events that we hope uh, you will really enjoy. And this will include a small but meaningful commemorative event that will take place on the centenary of the attack, May the 25th. And that event will be streamed live. The opening in conjunction with the OPW of a major new permanent visitor center here in the Custom House in Dublin's North Inner City later this year. And this will properly, properly celebrate James Gandon's architectural masterpiece while also giving a detailed account of the 1921 attack. This will be really significant for Dublin's North Inner City and we hope to offer a very informative and very interesting visitor attraction that will be visited by thousands, I'm sure. And perhaps most importantly, when restrictions are lifted, we'll be engaging, and I will too, directly with schools here in the area around the Custom House, making history come alive for our students. But the first of our events are this evening's lectures. These are the start of a lecture series that will run on a weekly basis right up to May the 25th. They've been organized by two superb Dublin historians, Liz Gillis and Michal Dublin, and the department is delighted to support them. I personally want to thank Liz and Michal for their time, their dedication and their interest and there are many interesting conversations that I have had with them to date. And so without further ado, uh, I'll hand back to Liz to start this evening's proceedings. Buen tana vas galer, garamila magwif. And I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to uh, Minister uh, Dara O'Brien for opening tonight's event. And also a huge thank you to all the staff at the Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage who have been a great support um, to myself and Michal O'Divlin over the last 10 years or so. Um, so everyone, just to, to give you a little bit of uh, background to, to how this all started, um, it did start 12 years ago and it started with a photo album um, when myself and Michal were working as guides in Kamenum Jail and Michal was asked to photograph this little handmade photo album containing the 68 photographs of, of young men. And they had signed their names underneath each image. And uh, Michal asked me, did I know any of the guys? Um, some of the names were familiar and I started looking into them. And the BMH Bureau of Military History, uh, they, that collection had just opened up um, and we started searching there. And it turns out that these guys were actually all involved in the burning of the Custom House on the 25th of May 1921. They had been arrested after that event. Um, now, myself and Michal, uh, like many, would have thought that the Custom House, that operation was a huge disaster. The Dublin Brigade of the IRA were completely wiped out. Um, but the witness statements told a very different story. Um, and what the men themselves were saying was very different. They were not defeated. They were so proud to have been involved in that. So that started our long, long journey um, of research. And over the last 12 years, we have met so many relatives um, of the men that were involved. <laughs> 
more information has become available thanks to military archives and the gift that keeps on giving, which is the pension files. Um, and the story has just developed. So we had been doing conferences annually in the Custom House, um, again, supported by uh, Tim Carey, Sean Hogan, and all the staff of the Custom House, um, in conjunction um, with the relatives commemoration. Um, and it was just grown and grown and grown. And unfortunately, last year, when the pandemic broke out, we, we couldn't hold our conference as we would have. Um, of course, this year, being the centenary, we couldn't let it go by. Um, so we had to go online. And I would just like to say a massive, massive thank you to Jerry McCarthy, um, who has just been our saviour in terms of teaching us how to use Zoom and stream live to Facebook. Um, Jerry is an absolute angel, so thank you so much. Um, so tonight's events, um, we decided that we would launch it tonight on the 3rd of April rather than hold the conference um, on the 25th of May, which is what we would usually do, have a number of speakers and it would uh, it'd be a day long event. Um, but we decided, no, we want to do something a little bit different this year. And tonight's, the date, today's date is so significant because it was on this day, 101 years ago, to the day, to the date that the IRA across the country sanctioned by GHQ in Dublin, born the income tax records around the country. Um, this was done deliberately to mark the fourth anniversary of the East Horizon. So what better day to, to launch the online conference. And now over the coming weeks, we are going to have some amazing speakers and they would have been speakers that would have taken part in last year's conference. Um, and then people that would take part in this year. So we're joining the two conferences together. So you're getting two years worth of conferences in eight weeks. And um, so we really hope that you will join us over the coming weeks um, until we finally build up to the final talk on the 25th of May um, 2021. And on that day, we will have the talk. And then in the evening, we will finish everything um, with uh, Hedge School. And there will be an event um, by the department to, to actually mark um, the, the centenary of the event itself that will be streamed live as the minister mentioned.